Hi there. In this video, we are going to set up a basic uh, GET request which requires basic authentication. We'll see one example of uh, GET request which makes use of query parameters, another example which makes use of path parameters. So, this is a basic template of a GET request. You require the endpoint, and bef before the endpoint, you also require the protocol HTTP or HTTPS, then you require the domain and then the endpoint right so make sure that you get in touch with your developer to identify all that information then of course being the get request the type is uh, set to get uh, query parameters uh, and then path variables we'll see that in the next slide we're going to set up the basic authentication so basic authentication requires you to provide the username and password uh, then we are going to uh, set up some headers uh, in our get request to receive response in xml and json and then we are, then these are pre request and test scripts we are not going to run any scripts in this particular video so on the next slide you see that this is a request and anytime you see a question mark things after that are your query parameters and if you have multiple query parameters, you are going to use the ampersand sign. And when you enter in this, Postman automatically recognize that these are query parameters. And under your param section, you will see query parameters. Postman will populate all that automatically for you. Path parameter, path is basically route to your resource. And we'll see that in the example uh, below. So this is the path. Uh, so the definition of path parameter is typically used to identify a specific resource. So from this URL, you can understand that what I'm saying is that, hey, uh, server provide me the animal whose ID is equal to one in this particular case. And query parameter is used to filter those resources. And if you look at this, uh, you can understand that what we are saying is, hey, server provide me all the animals whose name is equal to tiger. Another example is you have been using it for years now. You go open your Google search and type in something and hit the search button. You see the results. So this is the API that we are going to use for that. All right. So here also we use the query parameter. So in our case, we are going to search Postman. Now let's move on to our Postman and quickly do all that. So this is just in interest of time. I've created a workspace or an a collection. Uh, now we are not going to create any folder this time and let's start with creating the request directly So this is going to be get an animal Give some meaningful name to your request So click on that and the HTTP type is get it's correctly set uh, now Ask your developers they might have uh, some kind of documentation which They can offer you which is going to help you. So this is the endpoint that we are going to do so this is my HTTP protocol and basic domain information and I'm going to copy this now all right and I'm going to replace this ID by one okay so just to experiment what you can do is you can take this thing out okay and call it as path the moment you do that you see a new section is added which is called as path variables and herein this is the name with which you are going to refer to it and this is the value so when you're going to send the request what will happen is this path variable would be replaced by this particular value okay so this is it and yeah let's do one thing since i have mentioned that this require this this request requires basic authentication if i don't provide it see what will happen it is going to provide me this message that you are unauthorized to access that resource makes sense this is the middleware if you have uh, watched my demystify api black box uh, you can easily connect with that if you're not seeing that i'll provide the link of that video in the description okay now to fix that what you have to do is open your request right uh, that's fine you have to come to go to the authorization tab and here you have to select basic authentication and let me provide 
the super secret username and passwords and hit the send button and now you have access to the resource okay so this is your get request which requires basic authentication you have provided the path from the path variable all right and you're able to see the response now let's create one more request and request and this is going to be google search save to animals collection open this request and it is going to be http right so this is our request the moment you enter that you could see that postman is smart enough to recognize that hey you are passing the query parameters and accordingly you see that you can change the value from here what you can also do is in case you have multiple variables available in here parameters available in here you can click on the bulk edit and you can update them from here much more convenient when you have multiple uh, parameters to be edited okay let me switch to key value edit and now we click on the send button you see the response 200 okay and what you can do is you can click on the but yeah you could see that the query parameter part at least that was the item we had to cover okay um so thank you thank you so much see you in the next video